Silver yeah. Theater was a um, uh, one-hour drama once a week that was sponsored by the International Silver Company. And they called it Silver Theater. And they used all the top stars in Hollywood. Uh, I'll never forget the premiere broadcast starred uh, Jimmy Stewart and Rosalind Russell. And it was a huge success, and it propelled the series down the road. How could they get such big stars? Did they pay big money? Well, big money in those days was $5,000 a performance. That was the big money. So there were all kinds of people standing in line waiting, wanting to perform. <clears throat> what was your role in the Soul Theater? I was the announcer on that show. And the uh, host on that show was a wonderful actor named uh, Conrad Nagel, noted for a marvelous voice. And uh, he would introduce the drama and set up the premise ready for the actors. A very sophisticated man. Uh, yes. He gave the appearance of being a sophisticated man. Yes, he man. was. He had great dignity and sophistication. And uh, we knew each other all the rest of his life. The other show that I did as an announcer was the Screen Guild Players, which was another one-hour weekly program that every actor in Hollywood had to dedicate one performance a year to without salary. His salary was allocated to a brand new enterprise out in Calabasas called the Motion Picture Country Home. And it flourished because of that seed money. And as time progressed, the, the Guild, Screen Actors Guild, convinced the actors that they should voluntarily, with a little bit of pressure, contribute 1% of their salary, each paycheck, to the Screen Actors Guild Motion Picture Home. And that still exists today. Yes. I get residual checks of some of the things I've done, and there it is, that little deduction, which is a wonderful thing because uh, the home has provided solace and hospitalization for aging actors who fell on bad times, and uh, it gave them a haven. So the Screen Guild Players was a dramatic anthology. Right, dramatic anthology. And you were the announcer. Right. And the opening broadcast, I will never forget, because it was in the theater directly across from what was then called Grauman's Chinese on Hollywood Boulevard. There was great excitement in the entire movie community because this was going to be their show. So the entire audience was filled with stars and supporting players and all other aspects of the movie industry. So it was a wonderful audience to play to. So I went out at the beginning of the, of the proceedings and greeted everybody and told them what to expect and how we didn't want any applause until at the very end of the presentation and so on. So the initial broadcast went exceedingly well and I went out to thank everybody. And at the conclusion of my remarks, the curtain came down slowly. And as it came down, I bent down just under it a little bit and blew a kiss to the audience. And a wonderful, dignified, gray-haired actor stood up and blew a kiss back to me. I later learned it was Boris Karloff. Was this a popular program with the audience? Very popular. We had people from Clark Gable, Greta Garbo, all the way up and down the whole stratum. And they all appeared happily and willingly. And they all did great performances too.